This week's episode proudly brought to you by West Motor Company. Well, I don't like looking at magazines. Usually I don't even open them. Um, if I do see something, I try to go in the other direction. Uh, not to be a follower, to be more of a leader. And, but it also helps with creativity because uh, it's challenging. There's so many people come up with a lot of good ideas and it's, it makes it more challenging to come up with something unique and different. A lot of people look at the bikes and, and they try to do a big wow, you know, like a bigger wheel in the rear, the front, or really flashy paint. Um, I don't do that. I, I kind of stand back and look at the bike overall, not just one section of it. I try to make the whole bike speak for itself. So, as for ideas, I mean, a lot of times, uh, you know, you may do a sketch or something or get an idea, but while the bike's in process, being made, the sheet metal work, that's when a lot of the ideas come to life.
Um, honestly, it's a it's a great uh, way to be creative. Um, you know, it's one of the first things that people see on a motorcycle, and it's one of the first things that draws you to a motorcycle. And you know, one of the first things that interests me was you know was clear and how how shiny it was, and it was like, wow, that's that's really cool. And you know, pinstriping has has somebody with a paintbrush get that line, and that got me interested in it. But um, Every aspect of it is is, is fun and, and enjoyable, but um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Uh, I've been painting for a little over twenty years, uh, so definitely long enough to see trends come and go, and pretty much get a handle on any style that that's has been done or you know is being done nowadays. It, it's really trendy, to be quite honest with you. Right now, Skulls and Evil are real, real popular. I like to think I had something to do with that. Uh, my style is very uh, dark, very morbid, um, and that's kind of caught on within the last couple of years. So that's the stuff that I like to paint, um, and, and fortunately, people have gravitated towards that and, and have liked that. But um, I still get everything from old school, straight color, pinstripe to you know, 10 different color graphics to straight candies, you know, it, it's all personal, um, but trends come and go. Most extreme, most favorite. Um, <laughs> the most extreme probably isn't, isn't one that I even want to talk about. Um, I, I tend to personally have a very, very simple taste. You know, people say, well, what would you do? If it was yours, what would you do? I paint it black. That's everything I own is black. That's what I painted just because I could do anything I want and I won't have to think about it. Black is simple for me. Uh, colors and certain things always spark thoughts in my head, so when it's mine personally, I just want to go with black. As far as stuff that I like, again, it's, it's just, if it's a piece of artwork or something that I've done that is me and that I've created, you know, those, those little pieces I tend to really, really enjoy. Overall, my objective is to make the customer happy. So. Whether I like it or not is, is a complete irrelevancy. You know, um, I'm happy when they're happy, and that's that's honestly my priority. Um, if you're going to go with a bagger, let's say single color, you're probably starting at about $3,500 to do a single color. Uh, that doesn't include custom fabrication or any of that. That's Harley tin. Change the color. That's where we're looking at. It dramatically goes up from there. Um, I would say an average with aftermarket parts and maybe a two tone or some mild graphics is going to be about six thousand dollars. I've done jobs, honestly, over twenty thousand. So it just depends on what you want to put into it and what you're looking to do. You know, it, it comes down to the amount of time I have into something. Um, it's in pieces, right? <laughs> uh, I've, the bikes I have owned, uh, again, in a solid color, very simple. I tend to like custom. I tend to like stuff that's more performance orientated as opposed to the flashy and, and, and a lot of bolt on stuff. Uh, so they're usually streamlined, very clean, very simple.
If you like this episode and want to see the whole film, Bagged and Tagged, America's Wildest Baggers, it's available on DVD from Amazon.com. These episodes are proudly brought to you by West Motor Company. For all your Ram, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ford needs. New or used, they've got them.